Guys, it's being out in the last part we did stuff in this part. Oh, oh my gosh. First thing happens, I jump, I jump. <laughs> I'm just angry. I'm angry. Everything is going wrong in my life. What is with it? I'm gonna cut the bad accent, cause... <coughs> I just found a green rupee. So anyway, we're going back to the beach bowl. With the wavy lines called seagulls. And there's a secret undersea cabin. I want you to guess where it is. Yeah, we're magically on another... Planet? Oh, I was gonna steal that penguin shell, but no, I have to grab it from the rock. Now I'm gonna. You know the great thing about the headlight is it also allows you to aim it. Whoa, a cave! I never expected that! Okay, oh my gosh, the light. What is... Concerning it's a cave, it's very bright. Oh, I can't even hit these bats, yo. Well, thankfully that bat won't fall. Oh my gosh, two more bats! Oh, the pressure is building up. Although there was no pressure. PRESSURE! Oh, smack down on that planet. I'm gonna get that one up because I don't trust myself. I'm a rock! So anyway, these rocks... Yeah, basically this is a very cool effect we we pull up. We just wanted to throw it in somewhere. Other than that, all you gotta do is you basically just gotta go from point A to point B. But <coughs> this bit after the um I don't care about you one up, it's not like I'm gonna die five times or anything. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah. Um basically you just kinda go around. Ooh, it's womp. Yeah, considering you got womps and whatever the box things are. Reminds me of those guys from that game that I played. Da 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 How long? Three and a bit minutes, okay good. Because I've never done this in three and a bit minutes before. Eh, eh, eh. Let's flex. Ah, oh, stop there, I can't flex. So anyway, we're on star 28, which is pretty cool. That's a lot of stars. 28 stars on the wall, 28 stars. I can't sing, nor can I think. Why is there a comet? Dang it! I want to go for secret star instead I gotta do this comet, and I know this comet. It's given me so much trouble before. Eh, 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 eh. Fast foes on the cyclone stone. You know, considering I tackled it before with so much ease, it's just really annoying now. Just because that if you want to go fast, the, the timing is a lot worse now, just because everything's twice as fast. No, really? So anyway, yeah. Uh, the other annoying thing is I know that I know that if you stand under the uh, the teeth of that guy. It actually hurts. 
Like the teeth of Oh one. gosh. Oh. How convenient. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh, he's after me. No. Okay. But yeah, if, he's, if you're under the teeth of this guy, like I, I, I really am afraid. Because his teeth will crush you even though that nothing else of the body will. I don't know, it's weird. Whoop. Move fast or what? I think you got a long jump, otherwise you don't get enough speed, but thankfully we did it, no deaths. Heh heh heh. Who could die on this, seriously? <coughs> I got a bit of a cough. Anyway, five minutes, so I'm very happy. At this rate, we're gonna get like 12 stars, but no. But of course not, we're not gonna get five stars. Dumb. 12 star. But if we do the entire dome, I'm gonna be very happy. So happy. Anyway, the saving is in progress! Oh, that reminds me, we've got a secret star. So anyway, we, we're going back to the star. Except now we gotta do something. I cannot remember what it was. Maybe I gotta break that chest, because there's a shiny thing in that chest. The bubble? What the heck? It was shining! How is that bubble shining? Maybe there's something else I can break. Such as the other glowing thing. Oh, that's a, well, that's a one-up. That's different. Okay. What else? There appear to be a lot of, co a lot of chests. something on the surface? I have no clue. I really cannot remember this secret star. And it has to be the open world one too, yeah. So all the rest of them, you can't really hide them, so they'll just go Hungry Luna stuff you. Oh, there's a pipe. I don't care about you, let's go in the pipe. I don't think this actually has anything to do with it. Why is my... Because it's underwater? The camera's all funky? Ugh. So where am I going? Because I definitely know that that kind of place doesn't look like... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Do I have to get a shell up here? Oh, I even had the shell, you Dumbo Pants. I am such a Dumbo Pants. Aren't I? Anyway. Get, get up! Jump, Mario! Jump! <laughs> I better stop just whistling. Whistling the tune is not commentary, or is it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me, that was where it was the whole time. Anyway. Oh, dude, we're going to be using an item that... Oh. This calls from Mario three times. Oh, dang it, that's gonna be awesome. Ooh, Cataquack. 
Hello, Mr. Reuse from Sunshine. Oh, I gotta get him. Come along. Come along here, Cataquack. I'm gonna need you for something very, very suspicious. <coughs> Holy snap, it's a it's a fire flower. No, it's not. It's an ice flower. Which we never used in the sequel. This is what you do. You can spin and then you'll start. start doing stuff, but anyway, just kind of go up here. Stuff you, I don't need it. Anyway. Tricky, you gotta get the Cataquack over to the To the star, that's kind of tough. <laughs> so anyway, I'm three stars and I'm, I'm kind of glad, besides the fact that I had no clue where it was, but other than that, that is one of the trickier secret stars. Yeah, I know, right? Holy snap! We unlocked the galaxy. Yeah. Anyway, we got, we're going to go on one of the side galaxies. Boy Base! This is my favorite galaxy. Hands down. Because it's got the best music. Mario Galaxy? Mar Mario Galaxy. There is no... Mario Galaxy? Yeah, I know Mario Galaxy has the best music, but Boy Base has the best music in the galaxy. Or in the game. Beatboxing, okay. So anyway, again more swimming. I don't know what's with it, but the kitchen seems to be the wettest place ever. So anyway, what you want to do is you want to try and attract bullet bills to break the um. There you go. I'm back here. You want to break the ballast. Or actually, no, it's not a bullet bill. It's a torpedo Ted. If you ever played, uh, I think it was Super Princess Peach that named it. Torpedo Ted. So anyway, it raises the platform and then it magically builds more platforms. I don't know what's with it. I'm magically hitting the underside. Anyway, this bloopers, by the way. I'm not sure if you know this, but this is like the first game with the first 3D game with bloopers. Although I think Sunshine had. Shut up! I'll oh, come up, Mario. Mario, stop diving the wrong way. I like how when you're underwater, the string section is like an. It's like an organ section. It's actually kind of daunting. But anyway, what you want to do is you want to not get hit by the bubbles, because bubbles are your greatest enemy. There's Octorox. There are Octorox. Oh. Now we get up there. there you go. So anyway, we gotta get the star chips. Whoa! I don't want to be under him. That's what she said. Let's get up there. Don't random ground pound. Okay, stuff that. Stuff that. We got. We got. It's like screw this. I know I'm tackling this stage a bit out of order, or more so I'm sequence breaking like mad because they don't expect you to. Jump, whoa, gosh! They don't expect you to jump off the the, the uh, wumps, but you can, and that's the great thing about this game. If you're really good, you can be able to show off to your friends and whatnot. And the last one is up there, so I'm just gonna. I'm supposed to jump. On that guy's head and slings are uh, two of them. So anyway, this is a cool planet. This is one. This is why I like this galaxy a lot. It's a Pokeball. And you're thinking, no, it's not a Pokeball because it's a line on it. Well, as soon as you unscrew it, 
Yeah! Now it's definitely a Poke Roll. Anyway, there's a lot of Star Bits to pick up. I'm gonna pick them up because I'm gonna need them. Other than that, that's a star! The other reason why I like this galaxy is that it's the only galaxy, the only side galaxy with two, um, with a secret star. Oh my gosh, I had a burp ball of a star. With a secret star! 31 stars, so we're, we're just over a quarter through the game and we're only about halfway through the fifth part, so hopefully we'll be done in another three years! Nah, we'll be done soon. Why am I going to friggin' beach ball? Ah! I'm a dumbo. Back it up, yo. You know what really sucks? Because you get dropped back down here, so I just wasted like 15 seconds. But anyway, you may be going, oh, what the secret star thingy was green. What the heck? This is just weird. I don't understand it. So anyway, you're going, well, it's a secret star, so it's not a second star, it doesn't count. Well, I'm going to count it as one. So anyway, you go to the same star, but your objective is a little bit different. Instead of destroying that, that ballast, you want to destroy the other one with the pipe. There's a lot of star bits as well. In fact, there's a lot of coins too, but... Anyway, you want to get your Torpedo Ted. Come on, Torpedo Ted. You also don't want to go out of his radar, because you move a lot faster than he does. Get it? There you go. Oh my gosh! He's used to sucking me in! Now, considering it's creating whirlpool, it's not draining any water outside. By the way, here's an annoying thing, don't jump off because otherwise you'll just end up in the water. It's kind of weird. Like, I don't know, it really plays with your senses. Whoa! So, ah, three bullet bills destroyed. You only need one. To get the casing. And pick up your green star? What? So anyway, this is a strange star because it's green. What the heck? And this is not a fancy different star. This is just a weird star. In fact, collecting it, they'll be like, what? But I think that collecting this actually triggers a certain set of side objectives, which are easy stars to pick up. But 446, yo, 446 star bits. Best Pokemon ever. Oh, I remember. Yeah, you got you got to collect them, and then you, and then if you get enough of them, you get to the green galaxies. But I, I don't know. I I have no clue. I have no clue. But you unlock something later that will make getting some of all that that will allow you to get some stars, which are very easy to get. But at some point, I'm not quite entirely sure. So anyway, we we've done four stars in 17 minutes. I I probably want to pick up the pace actually. We're doing some of the longer stars too, yeah. Bubble Breeze! Oh, this isn't gonna make me annoyed. So anyway, this is Bubble Breeze Galaxy. We're going through the Poison Swamp. And the Star Shroom Crash, of course. So anyway, don't touch the Mario Galaxy, uh, the Mario Sunshine Slime. What you gotta do is you gotta go over here and you gotta go to the Bubble Machine. Anyway, this... Fillboard, huh. So anyway, this was actually in, a uh, Honey Hive Galaxy, but... Basically, what you just do is you point at the screen and you blow and... That's what she said, but more importantly, your bubble f goes in that direction, although you want to make sure you don't s hit any walls. Thankfully, I, you can kind of blow against the... against it, but you don't want to touch anything. Like, you really don't want to touch anything. 
Whoa. I like the bubblets. Very cool. Okay, I gotta break through here. Now I gotta get over there somehow. Yes, I know how to push the bubble! What have I been doing over the past five years of my life? Anyway, we did it! Lots of starbits for everyone. But unfortunately, there's a second section. Thankfully, it's, I think this is a checkpoint. Probably. Oh gosh. Don't move the camera, no. Oh yeah! Because every galaxy has one of these. An annoying spinning thingy. Annoying spinning thingy. Yeah. Oh yeah, rack up that coin count. I'm gonna need it. Well, I think you can hit the wall, but you can't, like, slam into it, you know? Whoa, gosh! Oh, thank you, completely off the thingy. Whoa! Oh, dang it! <laughs> ah, okay, so there's a star. We're 21 12 in. <coughs> so, anyway, yeah. Um, so, five stars. Hopefully, we can cram in two or three more, but I don't know. Wait, we saw this on 27, didn't we? Oh. Oh, in that case, we've gotten six. Jeez, I can't count. Let's see, we got two there, and then we got... No, we got three. Ah, oh, I'm a dumbo pants. So anyway, let's just jump to the next galaxy. This is the Ghostly Galaxy. Oh, gosh, six stars. Oh, in that case, we're way ahead. But since I've been cutting it short, I guess... Hold on, something's gonna... Ah, this was what I was thinking. Something unlocks a certain later thingy. That gets stars pretty easily, eh? Yeah. So anyway, this is Ghostly Galaxy. I called it Boo Waltz Galaxy. In um in the last part. I I was mentioning the soundtrack for this game. The music is called Boo Waltz when you get inside. Maybe this yeah, this is called Intermezzo or something on the C D. I sound like Chuck Conroy, like quoting the names of the songs on the soundtrack, jeez. So anyway, Chain Chop, oh my goodness. But anyway, spinning thing. Anyway, so anyway, this is the Haunted House stage. Needs the light! Come on, Boo, get out of there. So anyway, Boo's act like you'd expect. You just look at them to make them stop, but, and they're kind of dumbos. Anyway. If I go up to it, there you go, that's what I want. I want to get another pa painting so I can get him onto the light. There you go, because then he gets a key. And everybody likes keys. Anyway, I like this music a lot, actually. Oh, it's a Star Trek, so I'll stuff it. Oh, get over here. Oh, there you go, there's one. So anyway, these are Gumbas and Pumpkins. Think of it like Plants vs. Zombies. When you put a pumpkin over it, it has like a lot more health. I'm thinking as a secret star or something. Get over here! There you go. Fortunately, they don't have a... Now get off that. They also drop, um, flames. It's kind of weird. Alright, is the Star Trek going down here? Oh. Get over here! No, my pretty! Yeah, I think that's a secret. I'm going for the secret because I'm a weirdo. That was a weird way of putting it. Oh, weird, weird. 
Are you Jack? Oh. You know what really sucks? I'm back outside, jerk face. So if I hadn't gone there, I would have pretty much gone there straight away. Jack face. I waste my time for that kid. So I think there may be a secret star somewhere, maybe possibly somewhere, someplace. Anyway, watch out for the black holes that are just just casually sitting there. There you go, that's what I was thinking. Oh wait, this isn't a secret star, it's just a secret. There you go. Points galore! I guess we're only getting like two stars. Star That's okay. Hey, get over here. I like how it's like right on top of that, of that um, black hole for a second. So anyway, phew. You know, with a bit of an exploit, you can actually land on the on these planets. I gotta just out some starbits. Whoa, gosh, that was that was a bit of a big jump. Anyway, you can talk to Luigi over there, but yeah, should boo. Jeez, when I grow up, I don't want to be a boo. Ooh, look, I went up. Well, unfortunately. You do have to be one. <laughs> so anyway, as Boo Mario, you have to avoid the sunlight, otherwise you vaporize. Well, that's not sunlight, that's just a light. If you, if you shake, you vanish, which will get you to go through objects, but you can't like, bump into stuff. So anyway, basically just go to that wall, try and avoid that. You can go in the first room if you feel like it. Actually, no, you have to go into the first room, because Luigi thinks you're a ghost! Oh, come on, Luigi, that was six years ago, according to this game, I think. Or maybe it was four. I don't know when Luigi You know what the strange thing is? You get yourself stuck in this place, but you know what he does? He gives you a star, and then that's your freedom, that's how you get out. Huh. I can let it off home. I'm in the frame. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we got like two minutes left. Jeez. Now we gotta do cutscene with Luigi. I wanna get on to the next star. Come on, I wanna get on to the next star, yo. I can see your brother from here. So anyway, he'll search for power stars, basically. So in some galaxies, the secret star involves Luigi. So anyway, unfortunately, I'm going to have to spend my time walking back. And I don't have enough star bits for the thing. and I def So I'm basically just going to go over time, I know. But considering I've been going under time for the four previous parts, I know. So the buzz is going to ring like somewhere halfway through this level. Okay, go to the galaxy. Come on, we can do this. We can knock off that next star. Very spooky sprint. There you go, it's got sprint in its name. It's obviously fast, isn't it? I actually remember this one. This one's a strange one. But it is a sprint, so to speak. <coughs> it also doesn't involve a uh, Boo Mario. You'd think it would, but it doesn't. So 
anyway, you go back to this planet again, but the pathway is blocked. Instead, you gotta go up to this. It is a rainbow size, so I like it, but. Because <laughs> unfortunately, Buzzle's gonna ring pretty soon, but come on! Oh, there's also a bit of a sequence. I actually really like this effect, but the buzzer is going to go off, so I can't talk about it for too long. Ooh. Oh, I put it on stopwatch instead of timer. Oh, jeez. So it's not going to ring. It, it went already. Okay? Goff, goff. Goff. So anyway, I, I like this, um... This, uh... This bit. You keep hearing this star, but it's not it's not there. I definitely know they did this mechanic in uh, the sequel. That's pretty cool. So yeah, the ledges just come into existence. That's, that's so cool. Strange thing is that it's a little bit buggy because if it doesn't matter if the bottom of the platform is in existence, it only matters if the top is. There's a the star. So anyway, I guess that's it. Wait, what? I think I went for the secret star, actually. <laughs> Jeez, I was thinking I was going the wrong way, but like... Hmm. Someone got the secret star. Hmm. So anyway, I'll call that a day because we've gone over time, but... Hey, I've accumulated the last bit, so I think I may have not gone over. So anyway, we're almost done with the kitchen, so we're going to be heading on to the whatever the next dome is. Bedroom, I think. Next time. Alright, I want to show you something. Just before we go, if you hit the... Oh, it's not the best place to do it, up here. Down here is the best place. If you long jump and you hit the ring, this fails to put you back on the platform. Only the first time, but that's kind of funny. That doesn't... Anyway, see you kids!